Hold your hand up real high. Now, drop down the hand. This flag would wrap around the pole. That flag would wrap around the pole. At that time, you couldn't tell the difference between the stars and bars and the stars and stripes. And remember, you didn't have no flashlights to see what type of flag it was. And with the fighting and the gunpowder going all over and people dying and trying to wave flags, you couldn't tell the difference. So we had a great Confederate general came up with the idea the following month to make the battle flag. That is the battle flag. Now, you know the people, you had that now? That's the battle flag. That is not the stars and bars. That is the battle flag. Now, for everybody that's been in uh, the military or been in the scouts, you always see your little patrol flag. And any time you see those movies and you see all the Confederates waving the flag, they wave it so you know where the troops was at. They didn't have no walkie-talkies. They couldn't holler and scream that far. It was always a flag, a banner, to, so you know where the troops is at. That is a battle flag. This would have been called the national flag or the national flag of the Confederate forces. Now, while other states moved in, they started putting more stars. Now, this is what happened. You all saw that movies of glory. That's right. And my brother. That's right. I'm not Denzel Washington. <laughs> oh, I love the women. <laughs> All right. I'm not Denzel. But if you saw that movie, then you will have to go back and look at that movie again. After the Confederates blew the brother.